Well, this place is so full of thousands of years of myth and tragedy, and I thought something tragic was gonna happen. It's still there. It's still there. Gone. You never stop ogling girls, like. I don't ogle girls. I make love to them with my eyes. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm stuck with an American teenager. I feel close to you. Yeah. But sometimes, I don't know, I feel like you're breathing helium and I'm breathing oxygen. Hey, guys, how you doing? How you Very doing? well. Okay, good. That's all I got, really. I'll just all get right, out of here. It was a great interview. Uh, I thought so, because yeah. uh, you guys set a very high standard for conversation in these three movies, and I wanted to meet that. I know. Don't you wish you could argue like we do? I know. Well, because get we get to spend nine years. Nine conceiving. years writing it. Right. Yeah, if, if we could all do that for each argument, we'd really fare better. Yeah, do you, we'd be do a better you, place. Do not. you come up with like the type of topic you want to talk about and then read a really cool book about it? Or where, does, where do these things come from? Do you just workshop these forever? They it, come from nine years of living. Yeah. You know, that's right. I mean, what? I mean, it could be from a book, from an article, but 90% of it is from conversation we have and we, what interests us right now, what we want to talk about, you know, what we feel is relevant to the characters, to the film, to the... I'm kind of a vacuous vessel. I'm kind of the dumb blonde of the group. But Rick and Julie happen to be incredibly smart, and they just talk and talk and talk, <laughs> talk and, and talk and talk and talk. And, talk, and, talk, and, talk, and, talk, and he's like that with mouth open. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you guys um, do you guys keep in touch throughout this entire time? I Are you guys never close? Speak to you Julie, if I don't have to. In fact, no. I haven't seen her. We, we actually don't even speak at all on set. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Um, we're both. We're, but like we're in, actually not. You know, people imagine we just hang out. Imagine yeah. we just hang out all nine years, and we don't because we have lives. I mean, we work. We have kids. All mm -hmm. you know, in different part of the world. So you know. It's when we decide, I mean, yes, of course, if he's in the same city, we'll have dinner. But it's not like we hang out every week, you know, or every weekend or go on We're not days, actually so. married. That's We're not actually. Yeah. Illusion <laughs> shatter. I know, I know. I you know. heard it here first. Yeah. When, when you guys decided to, in, in the second film, to turn the first book into, first movie into your book. Your book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? It's hard to, yeah. you're so interconnected. Yeah. Uh, how much were you, did you want to get into commenting on the first film's like popularity and how people perceived your romance in Before Sunrise? We weren't interested in com on self-referential comments it's like that. We were, yeah, we were trying to create a parallel life, yeah. you know, like this parallel world where just it's hard to say, but I think for you know, and, and Richard Linkletter is a is a part of this. We Jesse and Celine kind of call us. And they speak to us about what their life is. And we try to make that as rich and full as possible. And so it was just a funny idea about how they could meet again, is that Jesse would write a book about write the experience. About the and night. then, you know. It's intensely romantic. Though, and like that in idea. this one, he actually wrote a book about yeah. the second film. I mean, yeah. You know. yeah. But it's a romantic, that idea. And people respond to it. They have the book. They love it. They, they see your characters. I mean, that is a bit of an homage in this film to people mm. that come up to us. You know, I mean, th these films are not, like, you know, hugely popular. They have a small f fan base, but they're very, you know... Very dedicated. Very dedicated fan base, and, and but even though it's not millions of people... do a little homage to those fans in the mm -hmm. third film. That often come up to us. I mean, it's happened to us very often to people. I mean, not to brag, but, like, people come up to us and say, you know, we but reconnected. But brag, baby, brag. <laughs> you know, but we reconnected, uh, yeah. about, uh, you know, because we saw Before Sunset, and it made me call my ex. You know, this person I met 10 years ago, and now, and we're, now married we're married, and we're having children. And and <laughs> do, do you feel like uh, those people, w were you thinking about their reaction to Before Midnight? Because here we go, we had this wonderful romance, and it was a wonderful fly-by-night thing. You and think then, about trying to please people like yeah. that when you're making something, you can get really lost. Yeah. We have to try to make the movie we would want to see. We, we yeah. make movies that are true to what we want to do, you know, and it's it comes, that's what prevails. I mean, it's like really... And if we started making movies to please people, I mean, this film is not an obvious crowd pleaser. I mean, you know, it's kind of com complicated and stuff, but we made it with, you know, I think as as true as possible to what we believe should be the story of uh, Jesse and Celine, you know? Yeah. I have one last question, and it's really important to me. Okay. okay. Uh, there's a scene where you're cooking in Greece, and you, Julia, are talking about, you know, oh, there's so much history here, and uh, you're making these stuffed peppers. Do you have the recipe Tomatoes for and that? Peppers? Uh, the recipe for it? Yeah, how do you do that? They're really good. They look amazing. They're really good, and I don't know how to make them. Damn it. You <laughs> <sighs> have to talk to some Greek people. They, 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 they call gimiste. Is that what it is? Gimiste, yeah. Say that five times fast. 
Give me a stick, give me a stick, give me a stick. No, but they're really good. All right, thank you so much. That's <laughs> Take time. care, bye. You are the mayor of Crazy Town. Do you know that? You are. This is how people start breaking up. Oh, my God. I assure you, that guy you vaguely remember, the sweet romantic one that you met on a train, that is me.